inventory. What will you sell for the period of 10 days? Yes, sir. Our reorder point is only 6,000 because 10 days times 600 uh, units per day, that's only 6,000. But here's the problem. How if there is a possible contingency, an unexpected event? So, you cannot sell to the customer. You will not be able to sell enough goods to the customer. That's why there is safety stock. But what's the problem if there is safety stock? If you will provide a safety stock, it will increase the carrying cost of your inventory. Why? Because you have to provide warehouse for that. But what's the purpose of providing for safety stock? In case of possible contingency. So you have to balance it. Now, the last one I think before I answer your question is that but this one. If you are the member of the board of trustees, which of which between aggressive policy, meaning profitability and conservative conservative policy will you choose? Meaning profitability over liquidity or liquidity over profitability. Profitability means that you have higher net income. <coughs> However, you will have lesser funds, lesser cash. Liquidity means that you have enough cash for the payment of your obligation, but you are not profitable. So, which will you choose? Diba? More cash, more funds, but not profitable. Profitable, but less cash. Diba? Diba? Which will you choose? Profitable, but less cash. But what's the problem with that aggressive approach? You will not, you will know, you will not have enough cash for the payment of your current obligation. So what's the effect? You will be subjected to litigation, and then your properties might subject to foreclosure attachment, which will result to the dissolution of your corporation. So you have to balance, balance it in the sense that you have your profitable, but at the same time liquid. Not so much liquid, but not profitable, not so much profitable, but not liquid. You know, balance it. But there are corporations which are very good. They, they, they are able to balance profitability and liquidity. This one, capital budgeting, this is a very difficult topic in the sense that it determines what is the source of financing for a particular uh, capital expenditure. Example, Henry C. Building, Henry C. Hall, that costs I think 400 million. 400 million. Now, is that a capital expenditure? Yes. If you are the board of trustees of the DLSU Manila, and there's a proposal for the creation of Henry C. Hall, a particular church, a particular admin building, where will you get the funds for the financing construction of that? Now, it will be very easy for multinational corporations or ABS, and Globe. They have two sources of financing. Equity financing, they will sell shares of stocks to the public. Second, <coughs> debt financing, they will borrow funds from the banks. Here's the problem with non-profit, uh, non-stock, non-profit, educational and charitable. They do not have equity <coughs> financing. What they have are two sources, three sources of financing. One is donation, but donation is uncertain. <laughs> Of course, if you will compel a donor to donate, that is not donation because donation is gratuito. It is based on the generosity, liberality of the donor. So if there is compulsion, that is not a donation at all. So let's remove that, that source of financing. You have two remaining source of financing. Debt financing, you borrow from the box or you use your idle funds for the construction of the building. Here's the problem. Do you have idle funds? So, none. <laughs> none. So, di ba? None. Why? Because if you will use your idle funds for that capital expenditure, what about your current liabilities? You have to pay our employees. So, we will not do that. So, we'll go to the banks. Uh, and then, you have to ask the banks for the best financing uh, interest that they will give you. And they will ask you, what will be your collateral? Can you give us your collateral, di ba? Di ba, sir? Can the 
Kunyari lang ha, the, the Manila Cathedral be used as collateral. Yes, <laughs> diba? Diba can you imagine? Diba? For example, the, the Archdiocese of Manila will build a new church and they have no sufficient fund. They have to borrow from the from the bank. So, there's no way but to mortgage that property. Can they do that? May, may, can he do that? The Archbishop? Yes, because he's the trustee. He's the owner of the naked title. Under the law, he can. Under the law, legally. But what will you If you are the member of the Catholic Church, nakasalalaro ka doon pa Diba? Of course, we will donate. We will pay. Yeah, but, yeah, but normally, diba? it does not happen. Because normally, the uh, uh, religious organizations will wait for the donation or the, for, the, uh, for the earnings of, possible for the savings from other income. Ayun lang. So, question. Diba? If you have ano, questions, even personal, in personal issue, legal issue, ah. Di ba? Or questions. I will try to help. We have parishes po who pay for the SSS of their catechists. Pero ngayon, hindi na pinandag na sila sa parish. Kasi ang reason ay baka dumating ang araw, hindi din siya ng separation pay and iba pang beneficiary. Okay. Ano po ang magiging liability ng parokya? If, so ngayon, ang magbabayad na ng SSS nila, sila na hindi na si Parokyan. Okay, so so sinagal na ito because they are the part of the Paris, uh, as Paris personnel. So, the, the first question is, is there a professional, religious, a professional client relationship? Are these catechists professional, rendering professional services? Or are they actually employees rendering uh, uh, I mean, voluntary. And that's a problem, di ba? If it is a professional service, we have no issue. They have to pay for their SSS. Because they will be considered to be professional. Professional means that there is an independent contractual relationship. You have to pay your own uh, benefits before the government. But here's the problem. If that is, there's independent uh, contractor relationship, you cannot control the manner on how the, this catechist will perform their duties. It is under the law, if it's an independent contractor, the relationship, you cannot control. If you hired me to perform, to clean, or to create a fish pan in your house, I will do, this, do that in the manner I want. Now, if you will control the manner on how I will do it. If you will uh, monitor me, that's a different story because there will be control. If there's a control, employer-employer relationship will be created. Now, the, 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 the diocese or the parochia should have to pay the benefits of these persons. Because the most important element of employer-employer relationship is control. The presence of, not the payment of salary. Even there is no payment of salary, if you control the way I perform my duty, I am your employee. You have to pay my benefits. Do not control it. Diba? Payment of salary is immaterial. What is important is the most important element is control. Regarding, regarding of that control, control, so, how, how do, what is the, your uh, idea about scholar? Say, for example, uh, bishop scholar meron, tapos you have that uh, control over them. So, scholar, scholar. Scholars. Uh, uh, these are scholars. Made by the parish, for example. Okay. And you are, you are you are expecting them to, to clean the, the CR. Ah, okay. and, uh, so the element of control is there. So uh, can, uh, are they considered as? Uh, that, that's that's that, that's a problem when it comes to scholars, especially in school. Right? That is the question. Why? Because they are working students. Now, the issue there is: Are these scholars uh, given? Are they given scholarship because of their credential, because they deserve it, or because of their work? Right? 
Diba? That's a problem because of their work. And that's why they, that's sometimes the issue. Diba? Sometimes, probably in the future, if that will be raised before the labor arbiter up, up to the Supreme Court, the schools might be required to pay. Might. Why? Because you are controlling. But at the end of the day, there's a contract agreed. Uh, there's a contractual agreement be, uh, between the school and the parents. Now, in that case, the contracting party is actually the parent. Because the minor cannot enter into a contract. So it will be the parent. And the parent actually allowed that to happen. Diba? So it, the parent allowed that to happen. So in that case, normally in that in that context, there will be no employer-employee relationship to speak of. Although, that there's presence of control. But the point is, the working student is not actually performing the duty which is necessary for the operation of that, of that particular corporation. They are actually assisting that even they are not present there, the operation will continue. At some point, let's remove the students. Will the school continue even without supporting scholar? Yes. So meaning their duties are not necessary for the operation. Now the problem with the parishes is that the duties of the catechists are actually necessary. Diba? They are necessary. If we will, if they, were, they are not there to will teach. Unlike when it comes to students. Without working students, the operation of school will still continue. So that is why they are called, uh, in one of the school, they were called that working students, they are called student assistants. Mm, student assistants. Because if it will be working students, then the school will be admitting liability or SSS. SA, um, I think so the, in the LSLIPA is SA student assistants. So in, uh, in cases of uh, Increase Yes, increase in tuition. And then automatically, uh, schools say that uh, 80 to 90 percent of the increase go to the increase also of the faculty or the employees. Now, is it just that, say for example, the increase, be, the adjustment of the increase be given after the school year and then after the school year, but how will it be given? Will it be given lump sum or will it be given? Uh, it will be given in the right answer. Lump sum. Lump sum. Para pang tapusin daw mo na yung collection for the year. Okay. According to the lump sum, that is that is mm. ano yun sa batas. And then kaya 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 that is given within the school year. Normally, that will happen. Why? Because if you will compel the schools to give it in advance, prior to the collection, the school will suffer. It's only one year. I think that's already your saving. The main, the main issue there, the main problem is giving it as not part of your salary, but giving it as the minimum is the benefits. That's the true issue there. Why? They do not increase your salary. Instead, they will give it as benefits. So next year, if there is no increase in tuition pay, you will not receive. If they include it in your basic salary, their book next year, that is still included. Question, will they increase next year? Also be implemented next year? Yes, that's already done. And do not but the question is, is there labor union? In, I, I'm not investigating uh, uh, <laughs> uh, a labor union, but the question is, the labor association, if not union, must be fair in asking the management. Please. If the management is not amenable, sorry, they will lock out the operation. And what will happen if there's lockout? You will not receive your salary. So be careful. May example, NBA lockout. From 82 games, it became 40, 41 games. So they have no salary for uh, 41 games half of the season. So you have also to bear with management. Well, hindi rin pwede, diba, sabi nga nung mga KMU, ano ba, Police and Mayo Uno, gawin natin, ano, 1,000 na. 
yung minimum wage. I think 750. But 750 times 20, I think, is 1,000. And the salaries of CPAs in the province is only 8, 7, auditing firms, 14, 12. So the minimum wage will even be higher to the professionals. Wage distortion, possible. But you have to bear in mind, okay naman yung well-going kayo. Ano lang effect? Pag nag-well ka ka, wala ka rin sa akin. Hindi ka naman didismin. Be careful, di ba? Although malalakas na lang mga union sa education is the NSU Labor Union, UST, yun yung mga ano dyan. Public school, hindi wala din kasi nakasala rin standardization daw sila eh. Di ba? So, pag sinabi ng Congress walang increase, wala. Matindi pa yung mga ano, but it's hard to set up a labor yun. We have experience in it. It's very hard. Especially on six years ago. Speaking of control, you mean, kunyari, volunteer, tapos nag-volunteer sila as catechists, you mean yung control doon, we expect them to come to OGF or the DPR or the lesson plan or the observation nila? Normally, all of them are Uh, evidence or circumstantial evidence to prove control. First, DDA. What's the purpose of DDA? To monitor the attendance. Lesson plan. What's the purpose? To determine if they are performing their duties. Observation. To determine if they are compliant. At the end of the day, this they may use it to prove that still you control the manner and how we perform our duties. Now, Here is your argument, if that happens, di ba? You volunteer. Di ba? You volunteer. And, di ba, there are several witnesses who can testify that you volunteer. Now, you have waived, you are stoked from questioning the, or from uh, uh, contending that there is a contract of employer-employee, uh, there's employer-employee relationship. But the other problem with that is normally the decision of the Supreme Court is like this. Di ba? Waiver of constitutional right is normally brought upon by courts. And in this case, this labor did not waive his right. He is actually motivated by desire to help his family as a breadwinner. See? Normally, the line of decision of the Supreme Court is like that. So that's why there must be a clear understanding even there is no contract. Written contract is not necessary to establish employer-employee relationship. What is important is those categories, those volunteers must understand that they are not employees. That they voluntarily agree to devote their time in the services of the church. Not for profit at all, not for salary, but for because of voluntary reason. And the purpose of this, uh, I think, training, seminar, is not for purposes of control, but actually, we are just helping them, di ba, in their missionary, in their vocation, promoting the word of God. We are not controlling them. Di ba, you can invoke that. We, Your Honor, we are not controlling them. Actually, we are just helping them to properly motivate them in their vocation. Yun lang naman siya eh. But of course, you are not the Supreme Court. Di ba? It's how will you present the argument. At the end of the day, it will not happen if the volunteers really understand their 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 positions. Their purpose. Di ba? Unfortunately, when that particular association has been sometimes they have talked to a lawyer, they have already asked a particular Nandiyan na, di ba? Activists, of course, these activists are trained to instigate them. Because, probably, they are right sometimes. Sometimes they are wrong, but probably wrong context lang in the sense na naman dito pa kayo mag-asik na. I mean, you have different associations experiencing problem to una. Kasi, di ba, wrong. Na bakit naman dito pa? I mean, But the 
that's ano, that's a good decision din na na kanya na hindi na bayaran yung kanilang SSS because honestly that's already you will continue to pay their SSS contribution that is already an admission of the employer employee relationship and you have to pay the retirement pay which is 22.5 days per year of service so example may salary per day is assuming uh, 1,000 per day times 22.5 that is 22,500 times assuming I work in the organization for 40 years probably 337,500 probably I'm not sure but per employee so if you want to help your parish please your diocese you have to to I mean to as the head, the board to establish already a trust fund for them. So that in the future, there will be no problem for the payment of retirement base of the full-time employees. Di ba meron naman? Sure po. So, dun muna unahin yung full-time. If possible, in the future, that trust fund will increase. Di ba? So probably, we can still provide even uh, a little retirement pay for those. Di ba? Possible yun, may excess, di ba? Possible, there's excess. So, even not the minimum retirement pay provided by the for those part-time employees, still, you can do that. But since they are part-time, they will not be entitled to to, ano, to, uh, to separation, to retirement pay and separation pays. Especially if their contract is uh, renewed every Every six years, every, every six months, every year. Kagaya po, LLC, every three months, term, every four months, tricent. So, I cannot ask for the payment of separation pay. I'm not entitled for retirement pay. Because I, I signed the contract, I understood the content, and there is no, even there's employer-employer relationship, but I am not a regular employee. So actually, ano siya eh, kung hindi nyo naman tinigil yung pagbabayad ng SSS, as long as there is a, a written contract, that there, it will be renewed every six months, and there will be no regularization or tenureship. Still, hanggang SSS, pag-ibig bill help pa rin lang sila. But you have to pay the 13 monthly, even part-time. Magaya namin, SSS pag-ibig bill help, may 13 monthly din. Because even part-time, entitled to 13 months. Even kasambahay. They are already now entitled. <laughs> Pag-ibig will help SSS. You have to pay the Pag-ibig will help SSS of the kasambahay. And of course, their 30 months. Yun talaga yung uh, pamanan ni Sen na to, Jingo Estada, before he was in prison. At least, at least naman. Pag-ibig na yun. Pag Petlo niya yun. Then of the day, kasamba ay siya. Diba? They should love Senator Chico. Sige, sige. Sige po. Sa amin kasi, ang katikita, at the beginning, sa simulapat, pinatalawag na namin, as volunteer, wala silang pinatalawag. Pero through that, mayroon mga pari na generals, binibigyan sila ng transportation na lang. So, yung ibang parole, sabi ba sila, sister, may transportation na lamas sa mga wala. Kasi depende yung kung meron kayo sa sakit. So, ang iba naman ay sa pondo ng present kasi nagpapanwaisin sila. So, meron silang katikis ng urari. Pero one time, sabi ko sa katikita, sister, di ba tagdan mo wala kami tatanggapin? Di ba? Oo, wala nga. Pero siguro, mas maganda rin, mas maganda rin kaya na sa simula pa lang, pasusulatin na sila. Na nagpunong-tira ako. And wala akong inaasak. Pwede naman po siya. Actually, even Para there's no... Even there's no written contract. Diba? Those who have personal knowledge of the agreement may testify. But the more important... What is important with the written contract is that in case of trial, that will be the evidence of the presente. The honor. Diba? This is the written contract. Under the parole evidence rule, any terms which are not provided in this written contract cannot be presented before the court. Only those what are provided in this contract will be considered by court. So, hindi niya pwedeng sabihin na 
na eh hindi po kami pa may gantong agreement. Na wala, you sign the contract. Yun yung kagandahan no, ng written contract. That they voluntarily. So, case of trial, you sign it, then taon ka na, 18. Matino ka ba? Opo naman. Oh, you sign it voluntarily, yes or no. Diba? Are you unduly influenced by the priest? By no, your honor. You understand the language? Yes, your honor. You voluntarily agree to write? Yes, your honor. You are not employee? Yes, your honor. Say that good na. Sir, most of the difficulty of the church organization and the church is funding maybe. But, I'm not bad, but do you have, can you suggest of a system or a way how to, for the church, how to generate uh, funds? Aside from contribution. Now, aside from contribution, donation, what I can suggest is the putting up of a cooperative. Aside from that, putting up of a cooperative is, another one is investment of your excess funds to of course, money market placement, stocks, bonds. But you have to, you have to, of course, to appoint a, a trust, uh, trust, trustworthy finance manager. Sir, there is no excess. Hey. Yes. <laughs> Probably we have excess uh, property, excess land, idle land. If we can, uh, we will not use it for a foreseeable future. We can lease it to a very big company and as for donation. In our case, in the facility, I think, the pure code, there's a, uh, a, a lander which is previously possessed by, the, I think, sisters, but that is owned by the Archdiocese of Lipa. It was leased out to pure code. Long-term lease, yeah? It's our I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 can before. I'm not sure, huh? Yeah. But if it's leased out, I think there's a condition that it cannot be sold. Yes. Tama ba? I think so. Uh, that there's a permanent condition, but it can be this house. Yes. And of course, Mr. Lucio is very generous. <laughs> he will earn so much. So of course, Mr. Lucio will pay rental income. And the, the, the diocese will use the rental income for its purpose. No problem. It will may not be subject to income tax. Lucio to, Lucio Bo may still donate. You will encourage it, you will donate, it will reduce your taxable income. And you are also exempted from corporate income tax. And we promise you, we will use not more than 30% for administration. And then, you have excess funds. Try to invest it little by, by little. Right? So, Easily said. But... <laughs> It will be very difficult to, to do it, but it kasi siya eh. That's the problem with non-stock non-profit. There are no shares of stocks. We cannot ask for owners to invest because we have no owners. And our donation is restricted because of what? It's not things. It's voluntary. It's our vocation decided to. <laughs> but then, right? of course, definitely, we still need clients for operation. But, yun, di ba? I mean, na, na experience namin yun sa, sa lipa minsan, sometimes, di ba? Yun talagang yung idodonate ko sa Visayas, Mindanao. Kami talaga sa mga tao, eh. Sabi ng pare, eh. Meron pa naman tayo dito. Kahit ko konti na, ipadal na rin natin. Di ba? Especially pag generous yung parish priest. Kaya parish priest, di ba? Kapag sobrang generous talaga, kahit yung konting-konti, sige, eh, mag-donate naman dyan. Isama na natin din yan. <laughs> that's, that's, di ba? That's the sad part. Not sad, but that's the, probably the, the weak part of the God beings. Too kind. Di ko lang sinasabi, mas naman maging mabait. Ba't din kasi siya eh. Paano ba? Wala eh. Wala tayo yung ano eh. We cannot ask the Congress to create a law for the uh, contribution of at least 1 billion. 
to its religious organization because it will violate the, the separation of church and state. So the, the, the government cannot help us. The government may help us indirectly through a valid uh, legislation, through accepting donation to religious from donor stocks or allowing corporations to uh, to donate and then claim that as allowable deduction. Probably the next step will be all the employees, di ba? Probably, di ba? Hopefully. Di ba? The Congress may pass all the employees of this non-stock non-profit will be accepted from uh, income tax. But of course, alam niyo naman, many will react. Oh! Eh, bakit? Pare-pares lang tayo nagtatrabaho. Para, di ba? Alam nyo lang. And it, that, that will not pass based on equal protection of the law. It's hard, di ba? Hindi tayo makapagbigay ng valid reason eh. Lagi na ba violate yung equal protection of the law. That's why si Manny Pacquiao, di ba? His income in spite the, the, the bill which was proposed for the exemption of his income earnings in U.S., does not push through because it will result to discrimination because we are not sure if there will be no Manny Pacquiao in the future. Sure ba siya, siya na lang yung Manny Pacquiao? Paano pag nagkaroon din na isa pang ang gagaya niya? Tapos hindi exempted sa income tax. Okay na. In our diocese, we have the Mayang Katikista Fund. Ang isang katikista bin kaya ng 100 pesos. At pag namatay siya, may 10,000 ang family. So ito, naisip ko lang ito. <laughs> yes, hindi naman sabay-sabay na mamatay. Ito lahat may kapag-contribute. Like, Palagay mo 900 and nagkapag-contribute. So we have 900 times 100 pesos. 900 times 100, so, 9,000. Naisip ko lang, halimbawa nakasakay sila sa isang bus at 50 catechists yun. May nangyari ba? <laughs> <laughs> so, 50 times 10 is 500,000. Paano, uh, kailangan ba ibigay ng diocese yun? Eh, paano kung hindi kasya? Kaya hindi pa naman nangyayari yun. Dalawa lang in a year or tatlo ang namasatay ka. <laughs> Actually, there's a provision in the NIRC that if you will set up a trust fund for the benefit of the employees, the income of the trust fund will be exempted from income tax. The purpose is to encourage the employees to set up a personal retirement fund. If you will set it up, it will be exempted from income tax. So, if that is registered with BIR, which I show, it is not. Because they'll be accepted. But don't not worry, the VR will not go after that. Well, it's, it depends upon the, the agreement between the, among the categories. What is your agreement? Right? Is your agreement or your articles or bylaws provides that? Well, regardless. But how if it is insufficient? Now, you have to compute the, the percentage of recovery of each categories based on the availability of funds. So do not provide a, another provision in the bylaws or articles which provides that in case the fund is not sufficient, we will provide it to those members so that there will be no issue. Meaning, if, if the fund is sufficient, no problem. We will pay the fixed amount you have set. But if it is insufficient, what? the amount there will be prorated among the articles. But do not worry. We will file an action for damages against the other vehicle. Malaki yun. Malaki yun. Other vehicle or the transportation company that is DLTV ko, Jav, walang problema. Diba? They are very rich. They will be ano? Normally. But kung naman sa ano yun? Hindi na lang. Para at least ano, meron sila agreed. I think, di ba, kung katikis ka naman, di ba, you, you became part of that, that occasion. You should be, you should accept. It's not for profit. Di ba, they, they must understand it. Yun lang naman yun. They must understand it. Para kami sa teaching, I'm not looking after the salary. I will look at my salary. 
I will resign immediately because of the offer in the corporate world. That's why I'm not looking at my ATM. My wife is looking. <laughs> I will say, why do you still go to Manila for the, I mean, for the transportation fee, food, for this amount? I, start, I told her, you cannot understand it until you become a teacher. He is now a teacher. And I even, I even giving her salary allowance because her salary is very low. And I'm suffering net loss from your from you from you as an, as my investment. So kaya pa yung kanyang expenditures lagi ng Starbucks sa sahod niya bilang teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. At sabi hindi gusto ko. O alam mo na. Hindi ko na kailang explain. No, no, what? And this, she's enjoying teaching for for I think three years old. Masa enjoy it. Masa enjoy it. Yun kasi siya eh. Dapat ma-realize nila. If they do not enjoy what they are doing, they do not understand it, then that will be the problem. They will find a way to probably legality or other way. Why did you bother to join the organization? That is your intention in the first place. But, di ba? But the problem is, you cannot trace that as a valid argument before the labor arbitrator. <laughs> Yeah, of course, the label already tell the part you say, we do, not, we, we do not care about your sentiments. This is the law. The law may be harsh, but still the... That's why diba, we have different opinions in the decision of the Supreme Court or each law. Diba? Whether we like it or not, that is the decision we have to respect. I don't know, it's a formation, it's a formation, it's a formation, it's a formation. You drop your contract diba? in, in a sense that they understand it. Yeah. Diba? And they sign it voluntarily. Um, in our catechetical center, we have hired uh, somebody to maintain the building. He's also the gardener and everything. Uh, and then we're giving him uh, below minimum wage. But he's, uh, we're, we're contributing for his. Uh, health, all the SSS and everything, and then he's demanding for the minimum. But our director said, oh, you tell him to get out of the, of, of AC, of the center because he's staying there. So, sabi niya, Di, sa paano yung pagkain niya? Naitutulog siya dito. Tapos, uh, yung ganun. So, kung, kung magdidiman siya, lumayas na lang siya. So, what can you say about that? My cousin is also working in safety. I my father uh, asked my cousin to maintain the garden sink there because my father did the landscape and then the, the, the sisters, the mothers asked my father to appoint up and then my cousin, despite of his salary, which is below me, I think my cousin only receiving 250 but my cousin never complained. They never complained and we staying that he's working there for at least you know, probably. 20 years of his life. Hindi na nga nagkasawa for serving, sabi ko, di ba? But, minsan tinatanong ako, bakit wala akong SSS? And I told him, di ba, you are entitled, but so why did you bother to to work there for 20 years? Di ba? And, and at the night, during evening, he will work as a tricycle driver. Di ba? Yung mean, blessings na dun eh, na nakabili ka ng ilang tricycle paaral mo kapatid mo. Eh, di pa ba sapat yun? Di ba? You, you pay your money. You pay your money. And then, minsan, sabi niya, oo oh, nga, wala palang income. Di ba? Donation lang. Yes, binibiro kasi siya, huwag oh, entitled ka sa ano? Magdaman ka ng SSS. Eh, ba't sabi niya, wala ang income, naawa nga ako na sista, umari nga lang, hindi ko na, kuhanin niyo yung salary ko para at least may pondo doon. Di ba? Ang, ang ano lang is that, Siguro po ano, kung sabi nung nabuti, di ba, what's, what's better? There will be no legal issue if there will be proper compromise. You have to explain, di ba, there is, we are paying for your accommodation. And if you will compute it, as Brian tell him, the accommodation is like this. The income is the lunch, breakfast, dinner is like this. The water bill is like this. Electricity is like this. 
Diba? You will compute it. You will deny it per month. It is still higher than the second third. Your salary is below minimum wage because we are contributing for your SSS bill health. Pag-in. We have to deduct it. Minimum wage income earners uh, do not understand <coughs> that their salary will actually be below minimum wage because of the deduction for SSS pag-ibig and bill health. So the deduction will be deducted from their salary. Example, if the contribution is 1 to 800 from the employer, 400 from the employee, and then bill health, pag-ibig. So if we will compute, probably we will deduct 2, uh, 1, 5 to 2,000 per month. You have to add it to his monthly income. You have to divide, explain it, see? If we will add back the amount deducted for your contribution, your salary is even higher than your. Yun lang naman siya eh. Talaga kung bababa yung ano, net pay ng minimum wage income earner, they will not receive the minimum. Because they will still contribute for the SSS. It's one third, two third. If it is one five, one thousand for the employer, 500 for from the employee. And that 500 will be deducted from the minimum wage. Hindi guaranteed na minimum wage, minimum metal, guaranteed na minimum gross. But not minimum net pay. So meaning, nung nakatanggap siya ng net pay na minimum, after na yun na ala, uh, deduction para sa SSS, pag-ibig pilihan niya. So pag ginross back siya, at the end, higher. Pakiyaan pa yung lunch. Lunch. Dinner. Allowance. Correct. So, po sa akin na lang because at the end of the day, di ba, pangit naman if it will go to labor arbiter and litigation. Especially if you have long relationship with the person. May mga ganun tao, di ba? I mean, pag tumatagal na, no? Malaki na ang ulo. May probably because they want to retire early, they want retirement day, they want she's in Cardo, di ba, ang provinsyano. Proper compromise din naman kasi yan. It's just a case occurring. If it happened in in one of our parts in the diocese, Uh, this is out of the generosity of the priest because he saw this guy just standing there doing nothing yet. He has a wife and uh, children. So he told me, if you want, you can come here. I will just give you rice if you want to. Maglinis-linis ka lang dito. And he has been doing it for, I think, almost three years. There came another priest. And then uh, when this priest, uh, there was a chef. The new priest wanted him out already, so he went to a lawyer and he asked for the for the period of for the separation pay. And he won the case. Maybe because that's the problem of being generous. <laughs> Sometimes if you are too generous, definitely, di ba? This, but uh, he did this against the new priest. Who was Because the, the employer there is not the new priest. The employer there is the diocese. Yes. Because the corporation who is, whom he is serving, which is he is serving, is not the priest. The priest yes. and the diocese, they have separate personalities. Since he is performing duties for the diocese, then he will be considered as an employee of the diocese. But probably the reason for damages against the priest is that not the but the way how did the priest dismiss the person? Because under the labor code, there are two. Uh, there is a procedural due process. You have to comply with two notice rules. The first notice that there is a conduct, there's a pending investigation against you. 
you have been investigated. Now, these are the charges. These are the reasons for the dismissal. You have to give your comments. And then the employee will give his answer, his comments. After that, the management will decide. Second notice, the decision that he will be dismissed. The probable reasons why the priest or the diocese is liable because for failure to observe the due process of law, you have to comply with two notice rules. Sometimes, employers will automatically dismiss an employee with just one notice. You are already terminated. Why? Because you stole a company property. Now, this person uh, filed an action for damages against the company. Is there a valid ground for dismissal? Yes. He or she misappropriated a company asset. But that is not the issue. The issue is, how did you dismiss the person? Did you observe the his constitutional right to due process? You violated his right to due process, you will be liable for damages. But, we cannot allow reinstatement. Merely, a payment for separation pay and exemplary damages. Normally, kasi siya, normally, ini-increase siya ng Supreme Court. 